Good evening, and welcome to my little bit late Facebook Live today, usually 5 p.m. Pacific time, but today 8 p.m. because I had a busy day today. Um, and this is Facebook Live, in case you're wondering when you're watching on YouTube, this is where it starts. And the interaction I'll have with Facebook people, you won't see that displayed on YouTube, so I'll tend to repeat any questions, comments back. Anyway, this is episode number 668. The topic today is why um, affirmations and the law of attraction don't work. And I'll get into that in detail in a second. Before I do that, let me introduce myself so you know who I am and what I'm about. My name is Barry Selby, as you may have guessed by the name on the broadcast. Um, I'm a best-selling author, um, inspirational speaker, and help women create balance in love, life, and business. I'm also a passionate champion for the Divine Feminine, which inspires what I do and also inspires these talks I've done every day now for over two years called Messages for the Masculine Inspiring Your Feminine Heart. And again, we're at episode number 668, getting up there. And the topic again today is why affirmations and the law of attraction don't work. In case you use affirmations and law of attraction to get what you want, you think you're going to get what you want, here's why it's not working. And I'm sorry to burst your bubble if you think they do work, because I'm personally aware that on their own, they don't. And this is why. Why don't you put it another way? I was, talking, I was talking to somebody earlier. Of course, this is what inspires my talks. I was talking to somebody earlier about this. She was talking about how... Um, She's helped around all these people do a lot of attraction stuff and they keep affirming it's going to be great, just get in the zone, you'll be fine. But it doesn't seem to change their lives. And so we were talking, I said, you know, the reality is, is that law of attraction doesn't deal with the demons. And like the demons? And so we started talking and I said, well, the reality is, is that we carry in our, inside ourselves a lot of stuff in the subconscious, as I've mentioned many times before. And the subconscious is really where the demons live, which are the limited thinking and the negative thinking and the false beliefs that we've been carrying around since we were five years old or thereabouts. So the law of attraction, and affirmations for that matter, have little impact on the course of our lives if we don't deal with those demons. And it's interesting because now having been in this work for many years and watching people do the law of attraction and stuff with The Secret when it came out, because that's what we're talking about, was the movie The Secret. And most of the people in The Secret talk about the law of attraction in one way, in one shape, one way, form or shape, one way, shape or form. It a, sorry, it's a phrase in my head that came out backwards. <laughs> in one way or another, let's put it that way. And yes, it was largely based on Esther and Jerry Hicks' teachings about law of attraction, which I'm a big fan of. So let me be clear, I'm not saying it's bad or wrong. What I'm saying is it doesn't work on its own. What I mean, because the same thing is true about relationships, which is my passion, my work primarily, which is this is part of that, is that when I work with my clients, I talk about how it's not just about your vision, where you want to go, and the intentions and the affirmations, everything you're working on. It's also part two or three, is to deal with the baggage from the past. That baggage is the demons. It's the things that we carry inside ourselves that we use um, without realizing. It's like when you, when I say it's like when you drive home, you don't remember the drive. It's kind of like that, but different. Because what's going on is that we are running programs. Nice one, Lauren. Affirmation need action. Well, more than that, and I'll get to that in a second too. It's like we are running a presumption that the conscious mind is in control. It's a nice illusion. <laughs> it is in control within a, within a limited framework because our, our conscious mind is a just minuscule portion of the amount of function that's happening in our brain. Subconscious in particular, which I've talked about many times before, is a very potent part, but because it's subconscious, it's sub, as in below, the conscious mind. So you have perhaps a list of affirmations you're working on. Or maybe you're using the law of attraction to make the space energetically to pull in what you want, to attract what you want. That will not happen. Yes, th thank you very exactly. The subconscious runs the show. Uh, that will not happen because the demons, as I'm calling it, which are the things in your subconscious, the beliefs, the rules, the, law, the, the ways you see life as having to be, are running without you being aware of them. It's a sneak attack in a way. You, again, you may have a clear intention of what you want to create, be one way not getting there, this is one of the reasons why. So if this is something you're dealing with, we need to talk as well. I'll give you some help with this. But here's the, th the thing about it is, is that we are running a conscious and awake tape, but you know, like the, um, I said, it's not subliminal programming, it's more than that. But we are programmed, I should say, we are programmable from a very young age. We, as I've said many times before, and if you've watched more broadcasts, you know this. If you haven't watched them, this may be your first time, I understand. When we're very young, we don't have really a we don't actually have a conscious mind. According to 
uh, studies, and, and Bruce Lipton talks about that, this in the biology of belief, from zero to about five, six years old, we are not actually able to consciously plan things, do things. We're actually re responding and reacting from a very s subconscious mind, although it's conscious at the time. This is going to make some sort of sense in a minute. But what happens is when a conscious mind comes on, to, on online, it sort of overtakes the subconscious mind. However, the subconscious mind is the part that takes in everything around us as the life. Yes, Mary, programs before seven, imprinted by environment and by experience too. So yes, you're right about that. And it happens when, happens, when we, happens when we act and react quick without control. Well, this is the thing. It is. It's the default wiring that's driving our reactions to things. So it's true. It happens without control. And that's the thing is that you may be noticing in your own life where you start to react to things without thinking about it. And you're like, where'd that come from? That is your subconscious. That wiring that gets put in happens at a young age, because I want to make sure I get this point out, that we are um, experiencing life as a, as a um, in a way, impartial witness in the sense that we don't actually discern what's good or bad. We take in everything around us into our consciousness. Good, bad, or indifferent. We don't know any different. So as youngsters, we are imprinted. And you say we're impressionable? This is fully imprintable because we don't have, we don't come in with an encyclopedia of how life is. Nobody I know does that. What happens if we learn about life as we go through it? And the way we learn is by experience. So again, programmed by experience. And this is the thing is that we are actually um, spending our whole lives attempting to get what we want whilst we're running automatic programming um, tapes, if you will, of what life is like because when we were very young, that's the way we believe life should be. So those demons, as I call them, Jesus, just to get them dramatically out there, are happily working along in the background, doing their merry little business, doing what they're told because they're doing what is programmed in and then when you're an adult, that subconscious programming is still running. It doesn't go away. It doesn't fade away into the background. It's still running, but it's just not aware. You're not thinking about it. You're actually much more elevated, so to speak, in a certain space. But at the same time, your subconscious wiring still runs. Ooh, that was interesting. <laughs> I just had a thought about somebody's behavior. Okay, that's not for public consumption. So I'm just aware of watching, of noticing somebody I know, or I believe that they're behaving, they're a very, very high level of conscious and aware being, has some pretty base responses to things. And I'm thinking that's the programming. Because if they're conscious and aware, they wouldn't be doing that stuff. But they are because of the fact they got the programming. This is the thing, we all have that level. And it's clear for myself, for example, I know I've done a lot of work around, I suppose about this um, uh, Tuesday? It was, a few, it, was, it was about a week ago. I talked about how in my own life I just had this discovery about these deep-seated programs I had about money that were still running even though I thought I'd deal, I dealt with them. But I had to go back and really visit them clearly and see them through this lens of what they were doing in my life to go, whoa, thanks a second, that's not right. That's not what I want. So what I'm going to give you as a quick tip is notice where you're getting the same results that you don't want in certain situations. Maybe it's around money like I was dealing with or maybe it's around relationship or about work, or about health, any one of those areas, or other areas, where you're carrying around some um, experiences that don't match what you think you want. So how do you root them out, Mary? I'll get to that in a second. So thanks for asking the question, you're actually ahead of me slightly. So first of all, you have to become aware of what it is you're not doing consciously. This is the fun part, in quotes. Because you basically don't know what isn't working until you become aware of it. And so first of all, becoming aware and going, hang a second, I noticed that this, that what happened today, something happened two weeks ago with that person when I was in an argument, and I acted this way and I stormed out. I'm like, that wasn't like, wasn't like me, why did I do that? First of all, you ask the question to get clear about what it is that something's not in alignment. You know clearly, oh, that's what's going on. When you know what's going on, then you can shift to move into the place where you can actually have some review. Now, getting clear first about what it is first is the first step, becoming aware. The second step is then, well, there's different ways of doing it, but what I, what I do with my work with myself and then with my clients, and what I do with myself was to actually go back to those times and revisit the experience and to actually become a witness as an adult to the younger part of myself that was actually embedded with that experience. Either it was an experience that happened to you or you were told something or you witnessed something. Something like that becomes imprinted in our awareness because that's the, um, that's the way it works, simply put. So by going back and becoming aware, and then for me it was about 
really getting clear by one showing contrast between what doesn't work and what does work by having seen what didn't work in the past experience and then comparing what I knew to be true now it helped to dissolve those beliefs but it wasn't an immediate thing it was something I had to work through and I've done a few layers of this so Mary, what, um, it does no good to avoid something i.e. relationships because the, pro the program affects more than one area it, it can tend to but it might be relationship centric for example you may be carrying a belief that excuse me you want, might be carrying a subconscious belief you're not aware of is that whoever you're around dis deserts you leaves because maybe you had an experience when you were very young where a family member or a sibling or somebody died or they left or they quit or they divorced something like that and so as an adult you have a subconscious program a tape running without you even being aware of it that the people you love will leave so it may not apply to other areas of life but it may be very specific to your love relationships so it doesn't necessarily cover everything but somebody covers one thing so that's one that's an example of what can happen so it is about working backwards so i said what i said was initially was the other way around i said okay uh, when you're a child this happens what you do as an adult now you got to go the other way which is to look at your adult life and see so why is it everyone's leaving me all the time so if you have that realization that it is happening a lot or that people are, are be being callous to you or they're being or maybe they're avoiding you and they're going to get they're going to get drunk all the time i mean it, it could be anything but it's something you become aware of when you look back and say, so what's going on with the common threads of people around me in our relationships, especially? Then you can see what that is when you can quantify where that is. You will find that when you go back in time and look back at your childhood, there'll be a resonant frequency, a pattern that matches. You'll go, oh, that's what I believed. Because when I was a child, this happened. So as an adult, this is what I, what I believe. But that I'm realizing it. So when you become aware of it, you can go back in your childhood and start to do the... Um, <laughs> the demon deconstruction demon deconstruction since they're using demons in the terminology because these things can get the better of you i know of some people and one person in particular because i saw the, the reminder on facebook of an anniversary a friend of mine took her own life um was it a year or two years ago and i said i did a facebook live then it must have been a year ago i took a facebook live about how um that sometimes demons get the better of you so my encouragement for you is to really look clearly at what's in your life that's not working because nine times out of ten those demons are not working in your life but it's a repeat cycle that's the indicator of what's going on so sorry or they stay longer long after it's over and everyone lives unhappily ever after well that's a different thing that's the wiring thing again it's like if things are if you're getting a repeat cycle or if things happening when things aren't working for you as i said in the title affirmations and law of attraction as much as you may work that out as many many times as you can tends not to work because it's something deeper than that which is the wiring that you put in place the demons that got installed when you were very young in your subconscious mind when you weren't even ready to believe what was right or wrong and it becomes the way that life runs i hope this has been of help to you because this is a, this is a big thing to take on and it's one of the deeper parts of my work but if this has made some sense to you i hope it does um i'm gonna Actually, because I'm going to go take care of something now. It's a busy weekend and busy day today. I'll leave some um, thoughts for you to ponder. I should say I'm leaving this for you to ponder so you can think about this. Yes, in fact, yes, Sue. Definitely need to heal those beliefs to grow and be healthier in, in relationships, in life, in every area. Absolutely. So leave the space. So I'm going to sign off shortly, but I'm going to keep saying leave the space. I'm going to invite you to leave any questions or comments in the, bro in the comments below. If you're watching here on Facebook or on YouTube, either one and I'll respond to you later on. If you want to reach out for support, um, I invite you to fill out my contact form on my, web my website, which is barryselby.com forward slash contact. I'll leave that link in the comments um, and get some help. And this is a deeper topic, I know, but I thought, I mean, I know it's Sunday night, but I was going deeper on some other things and it was like, I need to talk about this. So I hope this has made some sense to you. If you have questions or you need some help, you know where to find me. Um, this is my Facebook Live I do every day, usually at 5 p.m. Pacific time. But today I, I did post earlier. I was going to go late because I had another another commitment at 5 p.m. Um, and 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 replays. So this is my Facebook Live. Goes to my personal page at 5 p.m. Pacific time usually. If you go to facebook.com forward slash Barry Selby, the replays go onto my business page, which is Barry Selby author. When you watch the replays, and then on YouTube I have a YouTube channel which is Barry Selby. Please subscribe. And if you go there, you can find me under messages from the masculine. So with that, I thank you for watching. Again, questions, thoughts, comments, leave them below and I'll, I'll respond when I sign off. If you want some help, I'll put the link in the comments for, this guy, for uh, reaching out to me to contact me. And, um, and that's it. And 
Yeah, I hope this is, I hope this is giving you some food for thought, but I hope it didn't upset your evening. Or maybe it did. Um, I appreciate you being with me, as always. I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow at normal time. And uh, we'll see what type of camera shows up then. I thank you for being with me, and I'll see you again tomorrow. You take care of yourself. Sorry, how to root them out? That's, that's the deeper work, to be honest. I mean, to answer your question, how to root them out. Um, part of it is to really get clear about what the truth is, but also part of it is to reparent. Because a lot of what's going on is you have a younger self that is believing something, and part of it is making friends with and loving that younger part of yourself. That's the deeper, that's the, that's the work I learned from my psychology background. So it's, it takes a few steps, but it's kind of what I work with because it helps to get that one done. That's okay, Mary. I'll answer the questions and comments too, so thanks for putting the questions in. Um, so again, thank you for watching. I will see you again tomorrow. Take care, and uh, hope you realize that there's more to this than meets the eye. I'll see you again tomorrow.